Hello and welcome to another episode of me. Oh, we're not painting. <laughs> We've got some cool grey markers out. Um, just got a few of them. Um, I've got a pencil case actually of them. And uh, I'm going to use. <laughs> Obviously, you can see the pencil case has been used for paint before. Oh, I kept that piece of card in there. It's got yellow ochre on it. It's better to be all clear. And I've got myself a uh, cappuccino. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to uh, have a bit of a play around with the markers today. I'm going to uh, create a landscape to paint. But I, I want to sort of just make it up. So one way of doing that is just to uh, get the markers out and mess around. <laughs> so I'm thinking I want a bridge in it anyway. Um, have maybe the light. I've got to choose where the light comes from. We'll have a bridge. I want one of these old stone bridges. Maybe I'll do a few ideas. Let's pull the markers out of the pencil case. Have it on the side. There's a brush pen amongst them. I haven't used a brush pen in a while. Um, yeah, so let's do a few. Let's do one down here first. So I've got an idea of the bridge. So we'll have a, a bridge. these markers in ages <laughs> so we'll a bridge and then we're gonna have like obviously it's gonna have to have land here like that darkness under the water where the light's not getting in. Um, maybe there's some reflected as well. I, I want to smudge it, <laughs> but I can't because it's markers. It's funny that you start to get into the habit of doing things like that. So I'll have like a tree or something there. That's what I'm thinking. And then uh, maybe we can see the land from the other side. We can go off like that. And uh, land to be there. Not really sure about that tree now. <laughs> oh dear. Maybe, it, maybe it'll be alright. We can always make it smaller when we do our painting. I want a few trees there as well. Yeah, and then I'm thinking you go, you go walking. I might use a a darker marker now. Use a number. Uh... Whoops, I knew that was going to happen. I end up knocking them all over. So we've got a bridge, 
Got these trees. Got to think about where the light's coming from as well. I think I was going to go uh, light this way, maybe. Or the other way. Hmm. <laughs> we can go a bit darker anyway with the uh, markers. So I've got the trees. No, I want to smudge. <laughs> trees both sides. The old bush and stuff. Maybe there's another sort of tree there, and a bush, why not? Like this, and then... Back here... I'm just gonna think about that. <laughs> so, got our bridge. We're walking around it. We walk across here. Over here, maybe there's a really good view of a mountain type. to really uh, work out your light and dark. If I had the light this side or that side, I think it'd look better coming this side to be honest. So I think I'll have a darker, darker bit there. Uh, one idea anyway <laughs> one idea so we've got a mountain and then uh, a bridge and then you can sort of choose you can use a darker color to just to make it obvious that the uh, the lights gonna come from one side These are, are for yourself, just to remind, remind yourself where the light's coming from. Mm. Don't forget you can't smudge. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. So I've got something like that as a uh, idea. And then... Uh, what I'll do is widen it a bit I think to make it fill a page doing another one over the other side 
we'll do maybe we'll have more dr drama maybe I'll have a uh, bit more of a let's just connect these a bit more of a mountain over this side see more more mountain there it's just a bit more dramatic that's what I'm thinking and uh, <laughs> let's pretend the uh, probably I don't mind these trees I think these trees are quite good might put a uh, pine tree in there as well take that around just like the other one because I quite like that I like this swoop I like this swoop I like the bridge idea as well this was the main idea was the bridge this whole painting evolves around the bridge <laughs> the bridge was the main idea Sometimes when you're coming up with your idea, it might be just something you want to paint. Maybe you, you know, you want to paint a uh, a bridge like I do, and that's the basis of your whole painting. <laughs> might. So I do like the idea of seeing the land beyond there. Oh. It's annoying that I can't smudge it. <laughs> And then I'll do like a same sort of uh, thing, but I like the idea of a few a few trees in. do that bit there, no mind. When we darken it, we'll make it a bit more obvious. So I'll go back into my number, s number seven, I think it is. Let's get them shapes. Just remember when you're you're doing these, you can uh, you can be really loose, really loose because they're practice for yourself. And you're just communicating with yourself <laughs> what you want to do. then what I can think about is whether I want this to be really snowy or not. I'm 
bit further forward. I mean, put a bit further down like that. And the bridge. the idea of that bush there. Just get the other the other brush. the brush, I meant other, uh, other pen. <laughs> Maybe we will have that going like that. Yeah, that's not too bad. Could even uh, have it's quite a nice clean area in there, isn't there? Could have somebody there. Could have a uh, person walking across. <laughs> Maybe two people. Maybe there's somebody that way. Got a hat on. I like that, having the people on there. Maybe I should have the people on that one as well. Yeah, well, that'd be pretty good. Having that reflection in there as well. So we could decide whether we want these reflections in the water. And then we can choose which one we want to paint, or do we want to try painting them both? Just to uh, make that more obvious that that's the sheen part, the drama. <laughs> and it works having that light there because then these two people stand out. So what I'll probably do is have a mist there. And then have some clouds. Have some clouds sort of uh, coming along. Long here. And what I like about having a, a dark cloud over this side is uh, it helps with the light. So, uh, speaking of that, there's my idea anyway. I just want to uh, talk a little bit about that. What I just mentioned. So, I like this. <laughs> this is pushed more, isn't it? And I like that more. So uh, that'll be the painting that I'll probably do in uh, gouache. 
But this is just, just showing you a way that you can do something. I want to show you something. Oh no, I forgot to put the... Uh, forgot to put a bleed page. Oh, what a disaster. Yeah, so when I'm uh, thinking of doing something, say if I want to... If I want to show light, I think this is a... Uh, Let's just do that. If I want to show something that's light, I'll put dark around that area that's light. And then if I want it to be, if I want to show something that's dark, Then I would, I mean, this is a bit of a rubbish shape, actually. Let's put the guy with the hat again. <laughs> but if you have, like, dark on light, then you can see it there. And I try and do that with anything, whatever I'm uh, painting or drawing. Say if it was a, uh, show you a really bad flower. <laughs> if I was uh, doing a flower, I would be trying to work out how the tone of the petals are lighter or darker than what's behind them for them to stand out. No, that doesn't look anything like a uh, flower, really, but <laughs> it's just that thought of uh, when I'm thinking, uh, when I'm painting, I'm always, and designing, I'm always thinking, like, about that, because that's going to uh, help the person read your picture. So you want to try and get... A, uh, God, that is weird. <laughs> um, makes me want to spend hours on this to try and turn it into some kind of a flower. <laughs> but you know uh, what I mean there? Is uh, to try and create shapes using light and dark. And it's easier to do it with pen marker pens than it is to do it with uh, paints, but theoretically it's the same. It's just uh, when you're just using a few markers and you're not using color, you can really focus on it more. So the, like using fresh light area, you can put in your shapes and you can see it very cleanly. And uh, it's something to think about. I don't know if I explained that very well. <laughs> it's something I think about all the time when I'm uh, painting. I'm always thinking about how to make it read a bit better. And uh, it's not something I used to think about, to be honest, when I used to paint. I never used to think about it, actually. I would uh, accidentally do some stuff correctly, maybe out of instinct or something. But I've looked at some of my old pictures recently, some of my uh, ones that I was working on when I was doing a, a course. And, uh, and one of the things I noticed is I wasn't considering a simple technique such as this. <laughs> so if you're uh, learning and, uh, and you're a slow learner like me, and it's taking you, uh, seems to take it forever to work things out. <laughs> then uh, this video might help. If you're, uh, you may have already worked all this out or learned it from somebody. But I always try and do these videos for total beginners and people like me, slow learners. And, uh, Hopefully it helps out. 
So I hope you enjoyed this one. It's a bit different. I'm going to throw different videos in and uh, I'm going to use different materials as well. As I, I've been messing around with my markers and pencils quite a lot. Even though I always say I'm a terrible drawer. <laughs> I still enjoy doing it. <laughs> so uh, thanks very much for watching this one and I'll see you at another one. Cheers. Bye.